demo 2016 problem number two find all positive integers n for which each cell of an n by n table can be filled with one of the letters i m and o which stand for i m o obviously in such a way that in each row and each column one third of the entries are i one third are m and one third are o and in any diagonal, if the number of entries on the diagonal is a multiple of 3, then one-third of the entries are i, one-third are m, and one-third are o. The note at the bottom explains the formulas for coordinates of cells in this table that form such diagonals. The number of letters in all cells of a table is n squared. And the number of letters i and the number of letters m and the number of letters o equal n squared divided by 3. The first obvious restriction for number n is that it must be divisible by 3. Let's consider such a table with n equals 3. We can, without loss of generality, fill the top row of the table with letters i, m, and o in this natural order. Then there are only two ways to fill the rest of the table with letters I, M, and O, so that each row and each column contains one-third of letters I, one-third M, and one-third O. But you can see that in the first table, one of the diagonals contains all three letters O, and in the second table, one of the diagonals contains all three letters I. From that we can conclude that for n equals 3 it's impossible to fill out such table and satisfy all the rules of this problem. Then I came up with the solution for n equals 9 by trial and error. You can verify by inspection that this table follows the rules. Next. I have realized that for any n multiple of 9, we can construct such a solution by simply storing the same 9 by 9 table in the big 9k times 9k table for any positive integer k. This is the illustration of this approach. I have simply pasted four copies of the table we have seen before into this table 18 by 18. This proves that for any n divisible by 9, it's possible to construct a table that satisfies the requirements of this problem. Let's try to prove the hypothesis that divisibility by 9 is not only sufficient, but a necessary condition for n. This diagram shows the grid with 36 cells. Let's assume that it contains letters I, M, and O such that each row, each column, and each diagonal whose length is divisible by 3 has equal numbers of letters I, M, and O. All such diagonals are shown on the diagram in red color. Let's denote by letter P all letters that are at the intersections of these diagonals. It should be intuitively clear that the cells of intersection of diagonals are very special cells and they probably play a key role in solving this problem. We can see from the geometry of this construction that these points of intersection in set P form a square grid, n divided by 3 by n divided by 3. So it has n divided by 3 squared letters in these cells. Also, if we look at the columns and rows which contain these points in set P, we can see that these rows, columns, and both sets of diagonals cover all n squared cells in the entire grid. And since each diagonal and each column and each row includes equal numbers of letters I, M, and O, the total of these counts also contains equal numbers of letters I, M, and O. It's also obvious that the total set of letters resulted from the last count consists of the full set of all n squared points in the entire grid that has equal numbers of letters I, M, and O.
plus three identical copies of points P. This is because each element of set P belongs to one row, one column, and two diagonals, from which we can conclude that the union of these three identical sets P contains equal numbers of letters I, M, and O. The fact that these three sets P are identical is a central point in this line of reasoning. If three identical sets include equal numbers of letters I, M, and O, we can conclude that each individual set P also has equal numbers of letters I, M, and O, from which we can conclude that the number of elements in set P is divisible by three. If we recall that this number equals n divided by 3 squared, and n divided by 3 is a positive integer number, it follows that n divided by 3 is also divisible by 3, which means that n is divisible by 9. Obviously, the table on the diagram doesn't have such property, because n equals 6 is not divisible by 9, so it's impossible to fill it with letters i, m, and o, that follow the rules of this problem.